Hi guys, we're gonna start in one moment. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, bien. Good Buenas night. Noches. Good night. Good night, for... Nice to see you. Just give me one moment. So I'm putting right here everything. It's, it's raining a little bit. ¿Está yeah. it's nice. raining. Así que me avisan si no me escuchan o algo. Right. Me dicen. Creo que me escuchan bien, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Very good. So, we're going to start working here with our class. Right. And let's start with the attendance. Comencemos con la asistencia. Uy, qué bonito. Vemos bastantes. Me gusta, me gusta cuando hay bastantes en clases. Tenemos aquí Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Y Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. ¿Me escuchan? Hola, 
Hola, hola. Sente, teacher, es que no tenía activado el micrófono, perdón. Ah, con razón, con razón, ok. Eh, Daniela María Ramos, Ramos. Presente. Thank you, Daniela. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Fátima Joana. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Jair Adonis Martín Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Juana Cristela Eusera García. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Hola, buenas noches. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Ok. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Ok, very good. So we're going to start here working with the class. Right. Just to start with this, this is unit one. Estamos en la unidad uno. Right. And I want you to look at the following. Ok, esta ya es la tercera, la tercera clase. Entonces les muestro acá la, la plataforma. ¿Pueden ver la plataforma? Igualita no es Ok. <laughs> Now, in the platform, right, we have the videos from the first week. Esta es la clase del viernes. Eh, la tarea, la clase del mar, de lunes. Eh, ya para hoy. Right? Que sería la, la videoconferencia número 4. Right? Que va a aparecer acá. Right? En esta videoconferencia número 3, en how to use how much and how many. Y en la videoconferencia 2, dos, time expressions for regular activities, vamos a poner un par de preguntas. ¿Ok? Que quiero que las practiquen, que las respondan. Porque así vamos eh, haciendo un poquito más de ejercicios de los que ya tenemos en la plataforma. Si nos damos cuenta, los ejercicios de la plataforma sí están súper bien para nosotros, pero los hacemos así rápido, ¿verdad? Si nos podemos hacerlos en 5 o 10 minutos, ya los hemos terminado. Entonces, acá debajo de la videoconferencia número 2, en estos momentos vamos a agregar una pregunta. Right? I want you to look at it. Right? Y se fijan, dice Time Expressions for Regular Activities. Right, then I'm going to make here a question. The question says, let me put it bigger. Pueden verla? How often do you have vacations at your job? When do you take them? Right, those are the, that's, that's the question, right? How often? Ese va a ser el tema que tenemos aquí. Right? How often? And that will be, you will have your answers there. Everyone is going to have a different answer. Right? Cuando ustedes vayan, van a darle clic acá y van a responder y luego le dan clic en submit. Right? Ya tenemos la de la videoconferencia número 2. Luego nos vamos a ir a la videoconferencia número 3. Lo estoy haciendo en clase para que veamos en clase. Right? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a trabajar? En la conferencia número 3, ¿qué trabajamos ayer? We work with how to use how many and how much. So, we are oh. going to, uh -huh, how many and how much. So, our questions right, are going to be very similar. Right? We're going to put here, answer the following two questions. Right? How many days a week 
do you work? In my case, right, I work six days a week, right? And then it says, next one, right? How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Very simple questions that we are going to answer, right? Oops. Oh, yeah. Right? We have two questions that you are going to answer. All of you are going to have different, different answers, right? How much and how many, right? Very simple. Preguntas simples. Sencillas que nos van a hacer recordar, right? Now, for today, we are going to do another topic. This is not the topic. We're going to have simple present negative statements. Eso es lo que vamos a ver este día, right? How to write simple present negative statements. Do not forget to complete the discussions, right? The only thing you have to do is to click here on the discussion and you will click, you write your answers and then submit. Siempre, siempre, siempre denle submit o enviar. ¿Sí? ¿Entendemos qué vamos a hacer en la plataforma? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very yes, good. Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Now, we're going to continue working here with today's class. So, we have class number four. Class number four. Qué rápido va la vida. Class number four. Right, simple present negative statements, right? Easy, right? What are the auxiliaries for, for the simple present? Do and does. Eso es lo que vamos a utilizar este día. Okay, do and does. But here, I want you to do something first. Look at this. It says, review from yesterday's class. Write two questions, using how much and using how many. Right? Tell me one question. Ustedes ya las tenían ayer, así que es super fácil. Right? Tell me one question with how much. Janet Cruz Valiente. No usas apellido, Valiente. <laughs> Soy Valiente. Eh, how much do you ticket for cinema? No sé si está bien. How much? ¿Cuál es el verbo? How much oh. do you ticket in the mm -hmm. cinema, huh? What is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo en su pregunta? Enjoy your meal, yeah. Gerardo. Ticket. No. How much? Uh, no, 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 sería... Disfrute su comida, le digo. No, que siga comiendo. Ah, perdón. Te va a traer. No, es que no <laughs> Don't worry. Usted solo oiga ahorita. Uh -huh. Karen? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuál es el sería... verbo en su pregunta? Mm. ¿Tiene verbo? No. How much do you ticket? No tiene. Correcto. No, nos falta el, 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 el verbo en, ese, en esa pregunta. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Which one would be no. the verb? ¿Ah? ¿Qué verbo le pusieron a ese? I know. I don't know, teacher. You don't know. Okay. What what would be the verb in the Spanish? ¿Cuánto pues? ¿Cuánto? No, what would be the pues? verb in Spanish? No me la traduzca la pregunta. ¿Cuál sería el verbo que usted utilizaría en español? Um, Hey, piense la pregunta. Ya voy a regresar con usted. Marina, tell us a question with how much. My question yesterday, mm -hmm. how much water in the ocean? Okay, how much water is there in is the ocean? There, is there in the ocean? Is there in the ocean? Thank you. Anna. Question with how much? 
How much water do you feel? How much water do you feel? No, how much worry de de de, de, de que está preocupado? ¿Qué tan ah. preocupado es? Okay. How much how in that case the thing is that worried is an adjective. So we're going to say how worried do you feel without much? Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that after how much we need a noun. And worried this word, Anna is using this word, right? Worried. Worried is an adjective. Oh, I'm so worried right now about the class, about the exam, about the payment, right? So in this case, how worried? How worried? How worried are you in this moment? Very good, Anna. Try to think about another question with how much plus a noun. Teresa, what do you have? How much word do you have? How much? Work. How much work do you have? Oof. A lot of work. Pero lo evito. Okay. No abro la computadora. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal, Daniela. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Brenda. Brenda, tell me with how many. Uh, how many? I forget. <laughs> um, how many uh -huh. flowers do you have? Okay, how many flowers do you have in the garden, for example? Oh, I have many flowers in my garden. Very good. Cristela, what do you have? Tell me with how many. How many books are on the table? How many books, right, are there in the table? Are there? How many books are there in the table? Okay, good. What is the what is your question, Anna? How much tea do you have? Do you want? How much tea do you want? Excellent, very good. How much tea do you want? Very good. Karen, did you write yours? Eh, sería entonces, teacher, how much do you cost ticket in the cinema? Okay. Now, if we write this, dígteme su pregunta. Para que... How much do you Karen, uh -huh. How much do you cost the cost of cost ticket? In the cinema. Tickets in the cinema. Okay. Now I am going to ask you two questions. First. Do we use how much, right? How much do we use it for countables or uncountables? No countable. Uncountables, okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Now, tickets, tickets. Is it countable or uncountable? <laughs> countable. Countable, very good, right? Now, when you say how much do you cost? Usted pregunta, le pregunta a alguien esto, how much do you cost? What you're asking, Karen, is cuánto vales? Cuánto vales? Right? Oh, okay. How much do you cost, Karen? One million dollars? 
two billion dollars, one bitcoin, two bitcoins. How much do you cost? ¿Cuánto cuestas? Right? So, suena como pregunta de mafioso. Sí, sería, <laughs> how much, sería how much cost tickets? How much do tickets cost? En este caso, si como queremos hacer, hablar de preguntar el precio, vamos a hacerlo acá. How much do tickets? Vamos ah, a pasar okay. este. Sería dos por ser tercera persona, por ser una cosa, teacher. No. 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 No, porque tickets es day. The tickets, those tickets. Ah, es plural. Mario, uh -huh. sí. Entonces queremos saber el precio, right? How much do tickets cost in the cinema? They cost uh -huh. three dollars. Si fuera un ticket, eh, ahí si fuera das, ¿verdad? How much does the ticket cost in the cinema? Does the ticket cost? Uh -huh. Does the ticket. Exacto. Y utilizaríamos el determinante da. Very good. Ahora ya lo tiene, Karen. Muy bien. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so we have the first example here, right? With how much and how many, you guys se recordar, ¿no? Right? We continue, well, we remember, as we just said, if for countable things, we use many. For non-countables, we use much. Simple, right? Then we go here with the book. We're going to use the book, okay? In the book, we're going to go to our page 15, right? So we're going to work in the book right now. Vamos a trabajar en el libro. Let me show you. Pueden ver el libro. ¿En el libro? ¿No? Mama. No, teacher. No. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, now let me see. What about now? Can you see that? that no. Yes, book? teacher. Okay, very perfect. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to go to page 15, right? Página 15, page 15, and we are going to read the letter that was sent to Dominic. She's, you know, she's the new person, the new coworker, right? So she received a letter with all the duties she has to do, right? with all the activities she has to do every day. So we have this letter from Dominic. I will read it first, right? Because after that, we're going to have pronunciation practice. First, you read. Primero ustedes leen. First, you read. After that, you are going to answer these questions. You're going to tell me if they are true or false. Okay? Primero vamos a leer individualmente. Right? Y luego respondemos si estas cuatro preguntitas son verdaderas o falsas. After that, we are going to practice pronunciation and later writing. Okay, so let's start. Todos tenemos el libro, ¿verdad? Sí? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's start. De forma individual vamos a tener cinco minutos para leer y tratar de responder las cuatro preguntas. Sería verdadero y falso. Let's do it. Puede poner la imagen, teacher. Yo no tengo el libro. ¿No lo descargó? No, por favor, siempre se me olvida en el trabajo, en tanta cosa. Te lo voy a mandar también aquí en el chat. Descargan en la computadora. Puede verla ahorita, sí, ¿verdad? ¿En la pantalla? ¿Hay de? Sí, gracias. Vale. Sí, gracias. Perfecto. Gonna have five minutes to read. I don't teach. What? I finished the exercise. Okay. Practice 
In silence, practice the pronunciation. It's okay. The uh, say the word four hundred and four hundred and forty or four hundred forty. Both are correct. Both. Do you finish? Let me know. Cuando terminen, me avisan, por favor. I'm finished. Okay, perfect. Teacher. Yes? Eh, yearly es de oh, anualmente dijimos ayer verdad exactly oh, thank excellent you. you remember teacher yes Edwin eh, en el caso donde era permítame eh, no permítame get, pero no perdón eh, Dominic gets qué significa gets gets es obtener Ah, okay. Pero a veces es el, la palabra get, que es un verbo, tiene alrededor de 20 distintos significados. El más común es obtener. Ah, ok, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Acá en Getting Funded se mantiene en contacto. Así que recuerden, no le vamos a poner solamente una definición o un significado a las palabras. ¿okay? Tenemos que tener la mente abierta para los diferentes significados que les podemos dar a las palabras en inglés con base en el contexto. Con base en contexto. Así se trabaja en inglés. Ok, I think we finish, right? Karen, you finish? Yes, solo eh, una pregunta. Eh, donde dice vacation two weeks per year, per, what's the meaning? Per, per week, a la semana, a la semana. Per, a la. Al, ah, ok, thank you. A la. Fátima, ¿ya terminó? Did you finish? No. Yes, teacher. Okay, Teresa, Sandra, 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ayer. Finish it. Thank you. Yes, yes. Perfect. Adonis Martinez, ya terminó, dice. Cristela, también, me imagino. Okay, let's see the answers. We have first this exercise, exercise six. We have four questions. Let's decide if they are true or false. You are going to read and then you tell me if it's true. Number one, Edwin Lionel. Read number one. Yes, it's true. Uh, okay, léala por favor y luego me dice su respuesta. Okay. Uh, Domini speak to clients in her new job. New job. Okay. True or false? True. True, okay. True. Dominic speaks to clients in her new job. Clients, repeat. Clients. Clients, excellent. Leonel, now Adonis, tell me number two. Yes, her salary is 100 per week is this false false okay false thank you sandra number three dominic get a yearly vacation the answer is true true okay you know so sam is another request okay Teresa, number four, she has to work on holidays. Read, please. She has to work holidays. False. False, okay. Now, she has to work on holidays. Now, are all of these questions and answers correct? Todos en lo mismo. Do you have the same? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. I yes. have the same answers. Okay, you have the same answers. Just here. No, and I don't. Which one do you have different? Number one. Dominic speaks to client in her new job. I understand that she has to call potential clients. I don't know. Uh-huh. So in that case, yes? Yes, okay. Yeah, it is true. It is true. Okay, thank you. I think that was Daniela, right? Thank you, Daniela. Another one? Now, just make sure that when a verb ends with S, you pronounce the S. Speaks. Speaks. Gets. Gets. Lleva la S que al final la pronunciamos. ¿Ok? Get. Dominic gets a yearly vacation. vacation. Dominic speaks to clients in her new job. She has to work on holidays. Has. Right? Now, let's take a look at the uh, reading. ¿Ok? Veamos la lectura. We are, I am going to read. And then you pay attention. Voy a leer. Que ustedes vayan poniendo atención porque después vamos a leer por oraciones. Ok, cada uno de ustedes. Travers Inc. For a better future, their employee. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers family. Permítame, le voy a poner mío a todos. Por favor. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. 
take orders on the telephone, call potential clients, vacations, two weeks per year, plus public holidays, salary, $440 per month, plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. Okay, we have the here, this letter. We are going to start right now with pronunciation. Vamos a leer por oraciones. Las oraciones empiezan en la mayúscula, terminan en el punto, o por ejemplo en la pregunta, terminan en el, en el signo de interrogación, o en el signo de exclamación. Right? So let's start. We're going to have a Travers Inc. for a better employee, for a better future, dear employee. Read the first sentence, Marina. From here to here. ¿Cómo es el encabezado? Uh, Travers Inc. For a better future, their employer. Welcome to Travers Inc. Yes. Dear employee. Repeat. Dear, dear employee. Employee. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Continue there, please. Aide. Congratulations. You are now part of the travel family. Very good. Continue there, Daniela. Here's some information about your new job. Excellent. Teresa. Liz, Will, Eve, Carol. Carefully. 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 Excellent. Continue there. Please, Juana. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Hope Peter, Junior Sales Manager. Okay. Repeat. Job title. Junior Sales Manager. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. There we go. Continue there. Anna. Job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Okay. Continue there, Fatima. Get in contact with customers. Thank you. Gerardo. Answer a client question about all products. Good job. Continue there, Leonel. Okay, teacher. Answer client, client question up. Oh, no, Perdón. Take order on the telephone. Take orders on the telephone. Repeat. On the telephone. Okay, Take, uh -huh. take orders on the telephone. On the telephone. Thank you. Continue there, Jair. Jair. Let's go here. Can you please read this part, Jonathan? Okay, uh, called potential clients. Called potential clients. Uh, continue there with vacations, Brenda. Uh, vacation two weeks per year plus public holidays. Thank you. Continue there, Maricela. 
salary four hundred forty per month plus bonus. Excellent. And the last one here, the goodbye part. Please help, help me out and read, Daniela. Good luck, Mark Traver. Traver. CFO. I said CFO. CFO, okay, very good. Good luck, Mark Travers CFO. What are we going to do? In this moment, you have this letter. This letter is an example, okay? But every day, you don't do the same things that Dominic does, right? You do different activities, right? So what are we going to do? In this moment, we are going to work in pairs, okay? Let's suppose I am going to work with Brenda, right? Brenda, she's a sales a manager, right? I am a teacher. We don't do the same activities. Oof, it's totally different. So what we are going to do is that we are going to decide to write a letter to someone. It can be to a teacher, to a sales manager, to anybody, okay? You are going to be the CFOs. Ustedes van a ser Mark Travers. Todos van a ser Mark Travers, okay? You are going to write a letter to an employee, okay? And you are going to do all the parts that we have in this letter. Look at this. The first part, right, is an introduction here, right? We have an introduction, right, with Mark. Right, we have the introduction right there. Then we say, hey, welcome. And then we say, hmm, I have news for you. You have duties, right? All of the parts here, right? Here you can say, um, Inglés Corporativo. For a better future, dear teacher. Welcome to Inglés Corporativo. Congratulations, you are now part of the Inglés Corporativo family. Here is some information about your new job, right? Very simple, right? We're going to do this very simple. We're not going to complicate ourselves. Then we have the information about the person who is going to take the job, right? The name, the job title, the key job duties. Right? Name, Brenda, job title, Sales manager, key job duties, right? We have there the key job duties, right? And then we continue with the duties. How many duties we have? We have five, right? Five duties. So you're going to think about the different activities that someone can do or duties that someone can do, right? So that's what we're going to do right now. We are going to write a letter. Vamos a escribir una carta, okay? That's what we are going to do in this very moment. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good, very good. Just one per group, solo una por grupo, okay? Una por grupo. So if I am working with Brenda and I get, we're going to make one letter. Once you have finished, right, one of you is going to write the letter in the notebook, in the computer, whatever you want, and you're going to send it to the a chat group in WhatsApp. Ahí le envían al grupo de WhatsApp que tenemos y ahí la vamos sirviendo. Solo pongan el nombre de quién es para descargarla y luego ponerla acá en, el, en la pantalla. Okay, let's do it. For that activity, we're going to have 10, 10 to 15 minutes, de 10 a 15 minutos, ¿ok? Para esa actividad, porque vamos en equipos. Entonces, ya en equipos es más fácil hacerlo. Right, let's do it here. Veamos. Un momento.
Vamos a hacerlo de forma manual. Give me a moment. Okay, now we have the groups here, right? We're going to work with each of them, right? Please choose here. Select your group. Select your groups. Ya están, ya están, ya están. Vámonos, vámonos. Van dos grupos de dos. Vámonos, Marina. Vámonos, Teresa. Let's go. Joana, Jair, vámonos a nuestros equipos, por favor. Fátima. Hi, Fátima. Ah, ya decía yo. Usted me aparece todavía ya, fíjese yo. <laughs> Sí, por eso yo, Joana, Joana, Joana. Excuse me, I'm sorry. No, es el Inter, que, 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 que está como por el, el weather. Está malito, pero bien, llevamos. Nos vemos otro ratito. Ok. Ajá, podemos, uh -huh. podemos tomar esa. Y, y okay. se puede tomar lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, se puede tomar... Yeah. Uh... Eh, lo... Vale, ¿cómo? ¿Qué sería...? El, el, el. Procedures, procedures, algo así, custom procedures, como procedimientos de aduana, algo así. Procedures. Proce ¿Cómo es procedures? Procedures. Procedures. Ahí está. Procedures. Escúchame. Procedures. 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 Do you want to see the example of the letter? Hmm? Marisela, do you want do you want to be the example of the letter? Wait, wait. Wait, wait, waiting. <laughs> um Quiere usted ser el ejemplo de la de la de, o sea, su your job will be the example of a, of the Por ejemplo, si tú quieres poner uh, salón de Daniela, por ejemplo, se pone Daniela Salón, vea. En el caso creo que sería surcos agroservicio. Creo que así tendría que escribir. Porque se, los nombres se ponen al revés. Pero, pero los nombres propios no cambian. Ajá, el, el, no. No, el pro, nombre propio no cambia, pero vamos a buscar. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo en mi caso, mi empresa se llama Payless. Es una zapatería, pero nosotros le ponemos Payless Shoes. Nos puedes hacer descuento, digamos. gracias. <risa> La verdad que sí. Ah, me parece. Va. Sí, hombre, vamos a llegar el sábado. Vale. Ah, pues. Claro. Ah, pues pongamos, pongamos este, así como, como dice. Ah, la entonces tiene que decir agroservicio, no, tiene no, que no. ser en inglés. No, 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 porque eh, la empresa ya tiene un nombre salvadoreño, digamos, establecido. Entonces pongamos. Ah, o sea, comercialmente se llama agroservicio es? al sur. Pero ah, pues, aquí ¿cómo es? La... Aquí lo escribió la ticha. Con el surco agroservice. Ajá, es lo que les decía, que se pone ah. Ok, ah, pues sí, lo voy a poner al revés. El nombre propio es El Surco. Ok. Agroservices. El Surco Agroservice sería. Ok. Correcto. Eso sería Welcome to the El Surco Agroservice. Vale, de ahí. Eh, luego dice. 
Eh, congratulations. Eso sería lo mismo. Vea. Congratulations. Y podemos agregar alguna otra, alguna otra palabra. Vea. No me sale sí. Bueno, tal vez aquí solo el nombre de la empresa. Ajá, pues sí, por eso decía yo. Congratulations, you are now part of. De... Podríamos poner. Um, el surco agrosal. El surco. El surco, nada más. El surco, póngale el surco Steam, póngale Steam de equipo. Steam. Entonces, congratulations, you are now part of. El surco Steam. 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 Ajá, sí. ajá, para que lo pueda escribir ahí. Eh, Acuérdense eh, que ah, pueden, usar, pueden utilizar el chat para que se les dificulte menos también. Ok. Open the market funds. Ajá. Awesome. It's... You are part of the best company. Después, o ahí mismo. Ajá, algo así, tú eres parte de, de, de la mejor compañía. You are a part of the best company. company. Uh -huh. You are a part. ¿Cómo fue que dijo? You are part of the best company. Of the best company. <laughs> Yo creo que casi se escribe. <risa> Hello, teacher. Hello. Aquí viéndolas, paseando con ustedes. Anda navegando. Usted anda sí. como el visto, señorita. Ay, no. <risa> Ni entiende ese bola. No tenga pisto. Lo voy a entender a la fuerza. <risa> Ahorita no, ahorita gano en dólares, así 100 dólares, no, no me importa. <risa> así quiero estar, please. Read y read carefully. Please, put attention, put attention, vamos a poner. Pay attention. Pay attention. Please, mm -hmm. pay attention. Claim. Sí, provide solution for the customer about their claim. So, what about the uh, invocations? Uh, take orders on the telephone is possible because our yeah. work receive calls. In vacations is possible. Uh, uh, one week for the six months. Algunas teacher. empresas dan una semana por cada seis meses. Ok. Teacher. Teacher. And what, what is the meaning of public holidays? Public holidays is, eh, digamos, los días 15 de septiembre. Uh, los días festivos, vaya. Public holidays. It's possible. Public uh, holidays. And it's missing the name for the, the uh, company. Uh, it's possible uh, put word the holidays, public. Public holidays. No se falta el nombre de la empresa. Mm, puede ser. Mm. Recuerden que pueden poner otras actividades, no exactamente las de ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Customer. Eh, aquí delivery. dice the equipment. Aquí dice delivery, delivery. of the equipment. 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 Yes. And how, how can we, can we write a, I, that she has to coordinate the delivery equipment? Coordinate the, the delivery of the equipment. Coordinate the delivery of the equipment. 
Delivery of the equipment. Aquí vamos a copiar equipment. O puede poner coordinate the equipment delivery. Para que le salga más fácil. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Could you repeat the number two uh, option? I'm writing it Ordinate. in the chat. Thank you. You're welcome. Bueno, la tengo. Ordinate. Solo estoy oyendo, ¿ok? Ya no la voy a interrumpir. Yes, 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 yes. Equipment. Where's the chat? Ah, coordinate the equipment delivery. The equipment e delivery. Equipment. 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 Equipment delivery. Eh, eh, what about another duty? Another, another duty at your job? Uh, y le ponemos la que habíamos dicho, call the customers. Call customers. Or, from, or as the same as the example, get in contact with customers or call, pot, or call potential clients. Oh, también. Pongámosle así la segunda. Call potential potential clients. Potential. En la segunda podría, o, o podemos dejar esa, call potential. Llevamos, ya llevamos tres. Podría ser la tercera y después de, coordin, después de coordinar, equipment, ¿cómo se decía la, la que dijo la ticha? Coordinate the equipment delivery. Después, luego podemos dejar check that the equipment It's installed. Es como chequear que los equipos estén ya instalados. Mejor oh solo le ponemos in, que instalan equipo. O, oh, oh, oh. No. Check. O monitor the, in, the, pro, the, installed, pro, the installed equipment. Equipment. Ah, sí, podría ser. Supervisors. De installation, algo por el estar o sea, supervisar la instalación podría actividades. Ahí viene la teacher. Hey. <risa> Dígame. Es que íbamos a poner Tenemos médico veterinario, pero, uh -huh. se, pero se me rajaron los que tengo aquí en el grupo porque es muy difícil. No, teacher, es que lo que pasa, lo que pasa es de que lo que pasa es que tenemos problemas con la, con la actividad principal de los veterinarios. Ajá. Es como, Consultas para mascotas. Ajá, consultas para mascotas, pero este, no sabemos cómo es eh, estipular la, la oración. ¿Qué es lo que hacen? La actividad. Eh, la actividad, la actividad es, es consultas a mascotas. Consultas para mascotas. Dice? Revisión de las mascotas, eh, análisis de exámenes, eh, inyectar. Appointments for pets. Pets. Mascotas, pets. Consultas, citas, Ay, que me decía Jonathan que pets era solo perritos. No. Yo pensaba que era solo perritos. Pets. No. Perritos es dos. Okay. Pet es bueno. pets. pets. Pets son todas las mascotas que se tengan. Así sea una Hola, culebra mascotas. como la encontraron ahora en su delgado. Porque... Y eh, vacunar, dicha. El chivo. Vacunar a las mascotas. ¿Cómo se dice vacunar? ¿Cómo utilizamos el diccionario? Mm. Vacunar. Vaccinate. No. Vaccinate. 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 Con doble C, ¿verdad? ¿Mm? Doble C. Yes. Vaccinate. Eh, okay. Son cinco actividades, perdón. At least vaccinate pets. No sé por qué me aparece. Luego. Yahoo. Vaya, preparar okay. reporte, ¿cómo se dice, chicos? Preparar reportes. 
Era read, read report. Read report. Ya sería del, del diagnóstico. Report. Diagnóstico. Por. Sería escribir un reporte de todas las consultas. Read report for the consult. For the all consult. O diagnóstico. O de todos los diagnósticos. Write report for the all diagnostic. Sí, creo que lo estoy escribiendo bien. Vale. Eh, ¿Cuánto llevamos? Tres. tres. Nos faltan. Eh, voy. Nos faltan dos. Dos. Ajá. ¿Qué más hace la veterinaria? Ay, ustedes también saben que es un veterinario, no sean Quiero así. ver, espérame. Vamos a ver una veterinaria. Eh, hace los recibe report... medicamentos. Ajá. No, digamos, prescribir medicamentos. Sí, prescribir medicamentos. Uh -huh. Make a reset. No, ¿cómo se dice una receta? Hacer una receta. Sería, sería, pero es que hacer no sería hacer una receta, sería. ¿Cómo? Prescribe medicina. Ah, Prescribe. vaya. Medicina. Pre, espérame, que no me acuerdo cómo se Prescribe. Prescribe. Y, y por ejemplo, ahorita así como están atendiendo a atención vía telefónica. ¿Hola? ¿Cómo fue? Por ejemplo, así ahorita como estamos en pandemia, atención vía telefónica, una consulta vía telefónica. No. No, no, no puedes hacer una consulta telefónica porque puedes matar a la mascota. Uh -huh. Eh. De ahí, eh, ser amable. Vamos cuatro, paciente. vea. Be nice. Y nos falta y, uno. Y le recorte el cabello. O sea, el, el cabello. No, eso es. Grow, 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 ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Grow, grow, grow. Ajá, eso es otra cosa. Son, son peluqueros. A usted le voy a ver a mi perrito. Sí, yo puedo. Uh -huh. porque... Yo puedo decir, no, a la hacer... Brenda le estoy diciendo, me va a matar al chucho. <risa> <risa> a donde la Brenda lo vea. Vaya, nos falta una. <risa> una más, vea, pensemos una más, puede ser. Ah, tiene que ser atento, oh. tiene que. Take special orders or take call, special calls. Special calls. Take a special, mm -hmm. special call. Take a special call, yeah. And take calls from supervisors. Yeah. Okay, salary 700 plus... The schedule. The bonus. The schedule from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 4. From... 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 4. 4 p.m. Yeah. Okay. So, good luck, Alejandro Barrera. Vacation? To wait. Same. Public holidays. Public holidays. Yeah. The salary, the salary, the salary is 700, 700 per month plus 200 bonus per month and plus 200 bonus. Yeah. Okay. You finished? Yes, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. Did you check everything? ¿Ya lo revisaron bien? Eh, good luck. Ahí Mark Travers lo cambiaríamos, ¿o no? Alejandro sí. Barrera. Alejandro. Teacher, CVO is the same to CCO. CFO. Yeah. CFO. 
No, CFO actually is different. A CFO is someone related to finances. Es el jefe de, de o el oficial financiero. Como es una representante no. de ventas, that is CFO. Oh. A chief financial officer. Y un CEO. CEO, yeah. CEO es diferente. Un CEO es el chief executive officer. Es el jefe ejecutivo. Y el otro, el CFO, es eh, eh, de finanzas. Y ya CEO. No, ¿el qué? Sí, O. El Solamente o. la C y la O. Sí. A esa no sé. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry, no, no, no. CEO, I'm sorry. CEO. Esa es la que acabo de decir, CEO. Yeah, I'm sorry. CEO. CEO. Alejandro Barrera. Yeah. Okay. Okay, teacher, we finished. Okay, very good. Very good. So we're gonna go here. Right. Y nos vamos a ir ya porque ya son las nueve y cinco y hay que pasar asistencia. Okay. Let's rápido. go. Sí, super, super rápido. <laughs> nos están estafando el tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with some of you. Envíenme, por favor, sus cartas o las van a presentar a ustedes. Las dos cosas se pueden. Aquí ya tenemos unas cuantas. Permítame que no sé por qué. Estoy teniendo un problema con Google Chrome. Do you want that we share in the, in the, in the chat? Yeah. No, maybe I can send my our letter at the email and then share in the board. No. No, no I receive email. I see the hands. Okay, let me share with you. I'm going to download them. And this one, okay. So I think I have them all, right? We're going to share them right now. Veamos de quién es la primera. Okay, we have the first one here. Who is going to read? Oh, permítame, déjeme pasar asistencia antes de seguir, antes de seguir. Ya tenemos la primera que vamos a pasar. Pero déjeme pasar asistencia aquí rapidito. Vamos a ver. Oh, my goodness. For a moment. Okay. We have here, please. Seriously. One moment, guys. Okay. Analicia Valle. Here I am. Okay. Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres. Here, teacher. 
Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Thank you. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente, teacher. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Jair Adones Martir Molina. Jonathan Alexis. Thank you, Jair. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente, teacher. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arelí Romero Luna. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alparo. Teresa de Jesús. Thank you. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Ok. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Now we're going to continue here. We're going to share the first one that we were sharing. Right. The, we have this one. I think it's Gerardo's and, uh, and Fatima, right? So let's do it. ¿Quién la va a leer? No lo voy a leer. Voy a comenzar yo. <laughs> Solo que hice unas pequeñas correcciones porque me equivoqué con unas consonantes que no puse, pero la voy a leer aquí. Invest in mm -hmm. trading in is for a better future dear employee. Welcome to invest trading in. Congratulations. You are now part of the big family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Job title, main manager. Key job duties. We have meetings with employees every Monday. Write a report, a report weekly. Provide solution for the customer about their claims. Take special orders or take a call of the supervisor. Your schedule from your schedule is from 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. <laughs> Vacations. Public holidays and salary is seven hundred per month plus two hundred bonus. Good luck, good luck, Alejandro Barrera, CEO. CEO, okay, good luck, good luck, good luck, exactly. Now, very good, we have the correct one. Just the schedule is kind of crazy from 8 a.m. to 4 to 4 a.m. Yeah. 4 p.m. Ah, perdón. <laughs> yeah, <man>. Okay. <laughs> <Soy perfect. negrero. laughs> ya vi. No trabajen los para que... Gerardo. <laughs> <laughs> lo, lo bueno es que yo solo me contraté. <laughs> el dueño del selecto. <laughs> Ay, ese. No, no les puedo contar eso, pero sí. Ni me hable de Okay, now we have this. This is Marina Vaz. Oh, this is Marina Senaide, right? Marina y Aide, todos juntos, sí. A ver, ¿quién lo va a leer? Marina, una parte tú y una parte yo. Good. Uh -huh. Voy a empezar. Bye. Market in for fantastic world, dear workers. Welcome to Market Inn. You are part of the best company. Please pay attention to the following information. Name, Marina Vasquez, job title, supervisor, key job. No, de ahí dilo tú, Marina. Okay. Eh, key job duties. Así se dice, teacher. Key job duties. Uh -huh. Duties. Eh, check work schedule, supervisor activities, supervisor the activities, check and answer email, send report, 
uh, vacation three week per years, uh, March, August, and December, plus public holiday. Uh, salary, Five. salary, mm -hmm. one thousand. 500 per month. Thanks for being part of the market in. Okay, thanks for being part. Thanks for being. Thanks for being. Thanks for being part of, of the market in. Very good. Now we say job title, right? And we go with key job duties. Do it. Key job duties son como las actividades principales que hacemos. Siempre hacemos muchas cosas más, obviamente, right? But we have key job duties that, that we actually make every day. Ahí les puse los cambios que debemos hacer. No sé si los pueden ver. Yes. Ok, perfect. Just give me one moment. Just gonna close the door here. Sorry, my little puppy is sick, so it's pretty. Now, <clears throat> we have the first one. Thank you so much. Give them an applause. Give them an applause. And we're going to see the next one we, I downloaded here. Right? Vamos este, tenemos esta acá. Veamos este otro. This is market theme. But this one doesn't have anything. Se lo voy a mostrar, pero ustedes me dicen qué más. O no sé si está en dos partes. Give me a moment. No, it's just one. This one? Who's this? ¿De quién era este? Market Inc. No, era otra parte de la nuestra, teacher. Ah, era la, 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 la otra parte. parte. de nosotros. Sí. <ríe> ok, ok, ok. So let's go there with this one. Oops. Okay. Can you see this one? This is we. <laughs> okay. Ajá, uh -huh. we are three, Sandra, Teresa, and me. We're going to read it. Servi Office Inc. For a, for a better future, dear employee. Welcome to Servi Office Inc. Congratulations, you're now part of the Servi Office family. Here's some information about about your new job. Please read it carefully. Uh, your name is Teresa de Jesus Ramos. Job title, project superv supervisor. Key job duties. Monitor projects. Coordinate the equipment delivery. Call potential clients, monitor installations, and answer clients' questions about the product. Vacations, just public holidays. Salary, 1000 per month plus bonus. And good luck, Reynaldo Lopez, CEO. CEO. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right, just this one, project with J and not with one, right? And then everything is perfect. About yes, it's like in the Spanish. <laughs> about your new job, right? And that's it. Perfect, thank you so much, right? We have there this example. I think I have received one more. Oh, one well, nice, even in PDF. Let me show it to you. G Colocho, ya la leímos, ¿verdad? Karen, Jair y Daniela, ¿ya la leímos? No, ¿verdad? Creo que es esta. 
Permítanme un segundito. Vamos a borrar las que ya tengo. Y mi amor, se está descargando. This one. What's going to do it? Karen, tú vas a ver, o leo yo. Karen no, no está, se fue la luz, dice. Acaba de escribir. Léale a usted, Daniela. No están sus compañeros. Daniela. Ay, perdón, apague el micrófono. <risa> <risa> sí, man, for a better future. Dear employee. Welcome to Siman. Congratulations, you are now part of the Siman's family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name Jair Adonis Martin. Job title cashier. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your boss every Monday. Charge the customers for the products. Offer gift cards, count the money, and pack the products. Vacations two weeks per year. Salary 500 per month plus extra hours. Hi. Good luck. Mm -hmm. eh, este es un mix de, de, de un jefe. Karen Daniela Molina. <laughs> Su nombre, el nombre de Karen y el apellido de Jair. Sí. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. And we're going to listen to the last one. Right. I'm going to show you the last one here. I think it's this one. Right. That's it. ¿Pueden verla? Yes, teacher. Jonathan Reed, please. Ah, no, Jonathan es el que contrata. El que contratamos. Sí, creo que le tocará a ustedes. Soy el más emocionado ahorita. Pues, Edwin le toca. Ok. Teacher. Ya. La puede poner completa. Ahí voy, ahí lo voy a ir a, 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 moviendo yo, no se preocupe. Ok. Ok. Hay un servicio, el surco. Hola, Bill Futuro. The employer. Welcome. Welcome to el surco de los servicios. Congratulations. You are now part of the surco team. Personal information about your need job. Please read a Carrefour. Ney. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Yo te bet. Que yo doite. One. At a point for pit. Two. A steel bet. Three. We report for the diagnostic. Four. Prescript medicine. Five. Perform sugar vacation to eat per year fluid per day. Salary. Sigan un montón. Ajá, acá en Sevilla, ya no hace falta. Five thousand. Five thousand. Per month, Royal Legal Benefit, más Royal Bonus. 
work scheduled Monday, Saturday, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 o'clock p.m. Good luck. Agro service. Agro service. El turco. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, now we have the letters there, right? Todos pasamos, ¿verdad? Nadie se quedó. No, nadie se quedó. Tan, tan, tan. No, nadie. Okay. Very good. Si se fijan, ya escribimos una letra, una carta utilizando un modelo, right? Escribimos una carta sencilla, right? Writing the special activities or tasks or acti or duties that someone has to do in their workplace, right? Now, we're gonna continue here, right? We continue working in the book. This conversation is on, on your book right there, right? If we go to, we're gonna go to your book and you're gonna go to page 16, page 16. We have a conversation between Ben and Jeff, right? Página 16, page 16. Now we have here, right? We're going to read here and you're going to tell me the answers of the things that I will ask you, okay? Listen to me. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four week days, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, on Saturdays. Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is, is around $10, I see. Well, sometimes there's not much time, right? Absolutely, right? Now we're gonna have a conversation between Ben, that's gonna be Anna, and Jeff is going to be Fatima. Okay. ¿Quién será, perdón? You're going to be Jeff, Fatima, and Anna is going to be Ben. Okay, start now. Okay, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four weeks a day, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Now, Anna, choose one person and Fatima, choose another person. Okay, I choose, a, I'm looking for a Marina Vanessa. Marina. <laughs> You're back. I choose Karen. Okay, very good. So Marina and Karen. I am Ben. <clears throat> Um, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each 
extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, the last people to practice with this, please choose one garden, choose one marina. Los últimos para seguir practicando acá y luego seguimos con la siguiente actividad. Eh, eh, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Eh, Brenda. <ríe> eh, Sandra Marisela. Ok. I'm Ben. Yes. Yes, ok. Jeff, how are you? How are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well I work I five days a week and you? Mama. That's great. I work for weekday and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there are too much work to do. Each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, repeat with me, uh, Maricela, hour. Hours. Hour. Hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. One hour. One, one hours. No, one hour. One hours. Si la es hour. al final. Si estamos hablando okay. de una hora, no le ponemos esa al final. One okay. hour. One, one hour. Three hours. Three hours. There you are. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Now, we're going to continue here. With this conversation, right? We have two questions, right? He says, there, this is very easy for you, right? Questions number three it says, you're going to choose the best answer. Number one, what is the answer here, Aide? Much or many? How much hours a day do you work? How much hours, that's correct? Yes, how much hours a day do you work? It's how many, porque son how horas. Many. Okay, how many hours a day do you work? Right? How many hours? I work 10 hours. Right? How many hours? Very good. Now let's do number two. Uh, let's see, Gerardo. Mm -hmm. The two, how much? Do they pay per hour? How much do they? Repeat. How much do they pay per, per hour? hour? Per Very hour. Very good. So this one is many. The second one is how much? Because we're asking about money. Right? Siempre que preguntamos acerca de dinero, va a ser how much. Right? So we have examples. Ayer vimos nuestros ejemplos de how much and how many. Todo bien. Ahí. What are we going to do? Here in our book, right, we have these questions, right, on page 17. Tenemos estas preguntitas en la página 17. We're going to decide, right, if the answers that we're going to put here are going to be much or many, but we did that, right? So what do you think is going to be number one? Voy a dar un minuto. Para que pensemos, porque eso está súper, súper fácil para ustedes. Right? Solo se le pondría, perdón, solo se le pondría many or much, no el how. No, sería how much and how many. Sí, aquí es. Ah, ah, ok. Haga caso libre, hágame caso. Yo voy a utilizar how much or how many. Right? Let me put it here. Use how much. For example, in number one, 
right? We have money. How much money how much? is in a bank? Oof, millions of dollars, right? How much how money much? is in a bank? Exactly. Now, I will give you one minute. Les doy un minuto, dos minutos para que piense las respuestas de cada uno y luego les pregunto. Vamos a ver. ¿Ya? ¿Ok? ¿Todos están listos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. So we go here. Let's see the possible answers. We know the first one is going to be... How much... Right? How much money is in a bank? Number two, Anna. <laughs> Number two, how many? Huh? Which one is the first one? Number two? How many? How many paper? Okay, how many paper? What do you think, guys? Porque esto yo many in vez de eh, much because it is con a countable things okay. paper is countable things veamos le voy a enseñar un truco bueno no les puedo enseñar un truco porque no puedo enseñarles otra plataforma right what you're gonna do you know there is a there is a browser on your phone or on your computer y ustedes tienen un buscador no digan el nombre pero ustedes tienen un buscador en su teléfono en la computadora Pongan en su buscador, right, la palabra así, paper, paper. Y luego a la par ponen, countable, countable or uncountable. Pero así como, paper, countable or uncountable. Uncountable. So what is it telling you? ¿Qué les dice? Be How much? Paper. It is uncountable. En español, si lo contamos, una página, dos páginas de papel, tres páginas de papel, right? Mm -hmm. But in English, we don't. So we're going to put here how much. How much paper does a printer need? Right? ¿Lo encontró, Ana? Yes, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Thank Alexis, you. number three. González Torres, number three. No está, ok, Karen. Karen. Ok, yo creo que no me escuchan. Marina. How many? How many? Okay. How, how, many, how many? How many hours a day does he work? Very good. That's correct. Brenda, uh, number four. Es, es que se le oye como entrecortado, teacher. Eh, sería how much information for the internet, lo que dice. How much information is on the internet? Very good. Me oyen entrecortado. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. No, no teacher. I can hear you. Good. Okay. Es su inter, Karen. No me eche la culpa. <laughs> sí, lo siento, pero estoy con los datos porque se fue la luz. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo también estoy con los datos. <laughs> eh, let's see. Pati, number five. <laughs> How many? How many? Very good. How many days a week do you rest? Only one 
and a half day. Can you believe that? Only one and a half day. And let's go. Rest. With... Rest. Sorry, rest is. Ah, okay. Descansar. ¿Cuántos días a la semana descansas? Yo solo uno y la mitad. ¿Ustedes? Dos, tres, cuatro. Qué poquito. No sean teachers. Ok. <laughs> Let's see, hay de number six. How many employees? How many employees does your company have? Does your company have? Okay, I guess it's 100 yesterday. Very good. Now, do you have questions about this? Tienen preguntas acerca de este ejercicio? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, let's continue working. Let me show you what we're going to do right now. Sigamos trabajando entonces. Right? As you can see, right, we just finished the exercises on page 17, right? We're going to see simple present negative statements. We already, have, we already know how to do this. We're just gonna make a quick review, right? I want you to pay attention to the following, okay? Now, in the negative sentences that we have, right? We know that we always have a subject, right? We always have a subject. Then we have an auxiliary, in this case, do or does. Right? After that, we are going to have, right? The negative, not. Then we also have there a verb or the main verb. And then at the end, we have the complement, right? This is what we have or what we need for our sentences in negative with simple present. So we have an example. This is Maria does not work at HPVC, right? So what is the subject in the first sentence? What is the subject? She. Yeah, she, in this case, will be Maria, right? The subject is Maria. That's the first one, right? What is the auxiliary, Gerardo? It does. Does, okay. What do I need to identify after that? They were not, right? And what is the verb? Work. Work, okay. The verb is definitely work. And what is the complement? At HPBC. At HPBC, excellent. So if you look at this, our first sentence complies with all the elements that a negative sentence or a negative statement should have, right? Now, the same happened with Marcus does not stay late at work. What is the subject in that sentence, Brenda? Marcus does not stay late at work. What is the subject? Subject and number two is Marcus. Marcus, and what is the verb? Stay. Stay. Very good. What is the auxiliary that we're using? Does. Does. And the complement? Late at work. Late at work. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Tell me the subject in number three, Edwin. Uh, number three, Juan. One is the subject. Only one. Okay. Let me put it here. Juan and Pedro. Juan and Pedro. Okay, very good. And what is the auxiliary? Do. Do, okay, very good. The verb? Uh, right. In complement? 
Report. Report. Excellent. Very good. Edwin, if I have Juan and Pedro, right? What is the subject pronoun that I can change it to? Can I change it to she? Puedo cambiar la she? He? We? You? They? Well, well. It? <clears throat> what? They. They. Excellent, Edwin. Thank you so much. We can change it to they. Fatima, what is the subject in we do not send letters? The subject. Mm -hmm. We. We. Okay. Auxiliary. Do. There. Do. There is do. The auxiliary. Uh huh. And the is verb. Do. Uh, the verb is send. Send. Complement. Letters. Letters. Excellent. Very good. And this is how we create a simple present negative state. Así creamos oraciones en negativo. ¿Se entiende? Yes. Easy, right? Easy peasy. En cinco minutos lo hemos hecho. Right? Rapidito. ¿Puedo borrar esto? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Now, let's go ahead and make our own examples. Right? It says here, write six ne negative sentences about you and a colleague at work, right? Piensen en ustedes o en sus compañeros de trabajo. Piensen en las actividades que hacen ustedes en su trabajo. Escriban por lo menos seis oraciones. All of them in negative. All of them in negative, okay? Esto corresponde a la página 17, al ejercicio 5 de la página 17. ¿Ok? Y al de la página 18. Es igual. Así. No lo vamos a repetir. ¿Did you finish? If you already have your examples, you can put them in the chat in the chat and you start sharing with your classmates. He does not eat fish. Very good. That is correct. He eats chicken. Frank does not brush his teeth. Ooh, nasty. Gross. <laughs> Melanie and I did not eat lunch together. Why? Okay. 
Jennifer does not write reports. Hmm? Okay, good, good. Dígale a Frank que se lave los dientes. ¿Qué digo yo? Aquí está, dicho. No se lava los dientes. <laughs> Frank, lave se los dientes. Gaby does not check emails. Okay. You can say does not check emails or her email. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Selandia does not make extra hours. Okay. I do make extra hours. Monica does not have user to connect in the system. Así dicen, Gerardo. Ella solo lo bloquea. Dígamelo a mí. Uy, ahí hay un aidecito ahí. Claudia does not drive her car. Very good. I do not clean the bathroom. Why, Aide? Why? Luz, Luisa doesn't come to work early. Hmm. The traffic. Edie does not eat bread in the breakfast. In breakfast. Mm -hmm. In breakfast. Victor and Jose do not take your lunch hour. Ooh. My assistant does not call clients. Okay, assistant. Assistant. Daniel and Mauri do not waste time. Waste. Mario does not take his break on time requested. On the requested. Iris does not eat break and breakfast. They do not drink coffee. They do not drink. Remember that with they, we don't use the rule of S. Kevin does drive his car at one. Does not, Sandra. Kevin does not drive his car at work. Daniela does not play tennis on weekends. On weekends, Karen. No todas son in the, okay? No todas son in the. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Ya tenemos nuestros ejemplos. So, can we continue? We have 10 minutes. Ya escribimos los ejemplos todos. Copien los que no entiendan, por favor, para que busquen las palabras nuevas. She does not prepare reports on Monday because she does not work. Okay. Tenemos unos pequeños problemas de escritura ahí. She does not. Let me put it. Because. There you are. Exactly. Very good idea. Now we have our examples. Let's see what we're gonna do continuously here. It says with the speaking part, right? We're going to make negative statements with the information below. It says, I work, my mother study, my father exercise, my drive to class work. For example, I can say, I don't drive to class, right? And then another person, like Karen, Aide, Anna, Fatima, Brenda, they can say, mm, my mother doesn't study, right? So we're going to think about possible answers. Vamos a, a compartir, podemos utilizar las oraciones que ya, que ya escribimos. The students do not make the homework. Do not do the homework. Do not do the homework. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, veamos. Un uno va a decir una pregunta, una pregunta, perdón, una oración, y el siguiente va a responder con otra oración negativa. Pueden utilizar el vocabulario en la pantalla o utilizamos el vocabulario en las oraciones que ya tienen. 
Right? Es como contestarnos, pero siempre con oraciones negativas, no con preguntas. So we start. Ana. Marina. En ese orden. Fátima. Right? Ana. What's your sentence? Tell us. Mama, My example. Uh -huh. My example was Melanie and I eat lunch together. Very negative. Very negative. Melanie and I do not eat lunch together. Do not eat lunch together. Very good. Thank you so much. Marina. The second teacher de my mother. Mm -hmm. No, read your examples. Estos solo son ejemplos. Estamos ah. leyendo nuestros ejemplos en negativo. Uh, Gaby does does um, does not check your her email. Her email, very good, Fatima. Um, Nancy does not arrive late to her workplace. Very good, does not arrive late to her workplace. Brenda, uh, Luis doesn't exercise very good doesn't doesn't sorry doesn't doesn't gerardo and negative all of them uh, i don't to start late in my work no it's incorrect otra vez mm, Te voy a decir una que ya tengo. <laughs> Perdón, pero no, no, lo siento, lo siento, es que no le puse mucha atención porque estaba logueándome ahorita. Este, mm. Cualquier oración es negativo. Yeah. I don't watch mm, TV. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't watch TV. Okay, I don't watch TV. Very good. Let's see Edwin. Y Jennifer does not report. Again? Jennifer does not read report. Okay, does not read report. Okay, very good. Escribir o leer? Escribir. Write. Write. Write report. Okay, Teresa. Teresa. No fue Teresa. Uy. Karen. Eh, Mayra doesn't dance reggaeton. Ok, why? Ok, good. Thank you. Daniela. <laughs> My boss doesn't drink water. Ok, very good. Jair. Luciana and Jesus do not create their opportunities. But tell me the example in simple present, not in simple past. Como teacher. Usted me dijo su ejemplo en simple past. Estamos trabajando con el presente simple, no con el pasado. So, I say, Luciana and Jesus do not, do not create uh -huh. their opportunities. Okay, do not create their opportunities. Very good, Jair, thank you. Let's see, Jonathan. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. I did. Um, I did. I I do not work with your sister. 
Yeah, sure. She works in another place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Maricela. Uh, Mercy does not check the email. Okay, and let's see the last one. That was the last one, right? Ya pasamos todos. Yay, very good. Right, thank you so much. Right. We have here all of the examples. Tomorrow we're gonna do more examples with simple present negative statements. So let me just call the attendance the last time for tonight. Just one moment. Oh my goodness. Mariana. ¿Qué le está preguntando Mariana? Es que no me hace caso. Okay. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen. Daniela María. Presente. Edwin Leonel. Presente, Ticho. Fátima Joana. Presente, Ticho. Gerardo Antonio. Presente, Ticho. Aire de la Paz. Presente, teacher. Jaira Donis. Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan Alexis. Juana Cristela. Karen Janet. Presente. Carla Susana. Katia Carolina. Marina Vanessa. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arelí. Sandra Maricela. Teresa de Jesús, Verónica Esmeralda. Okay, so we have the attendance for today, guys. I see you tomorrow, right? For today, right? I will just stay with, in this case, I should stay with Daniela Maria Ramos. And the other ones have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, Daniela. Hi. How are you today? How are you I'm after the class? <laughs> I'm very tired. Oh. Me too. <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, tell me, this, this 10 minutes is just 10 minutes, but they are uh, available in case that you have any questions. Right? Mm -hmm. If you want to ask something about the class, something that is not clear, right? Algo que no le haya quedado claro, una pregunta en específico que tenga, usted puede hacer uso de estos 10 minutos. Right? Y si no, también me avisa. <laughs> Ok. Quiero ver. Con algo tenía duda. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. En las, en las, en las positive sentence sí me quedaba como medio complicado. No sé por qué. Pero siempre se usa el, el, la misma estructura que la negativa, solamente que quitando el not. Quitando el auxiliar y el not. Para las negativas solamente llevamos subject, verb, complement. En las, en las positivas. En las positivas. Subject, verb, complement. En ah, es cuando, pre, cuando es pregunta que se ocupa el, el, das, el auxiliar. Ajá. Es pregunta. Y, y um, sería bueno que bajara como una lista de verbos en el presente simple. Sí, puede bajar una lista. O si, si me recuerdo esta mañana en el chat, yo se las mando. Yo tengo una lista de verbos. Bueno, tengo ah, varias. vaya. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque es que a veces a uno se le cruzan. <risa> Los cables. <risa> ¿Sí? 
Ah, vaya, sí, sería súper bueno. Yo creo que solo eso. Es que ahí me confundí un poco. Ah, ah no, pero eso ya me lo explico, ya me acordé. Lo del, lo, cuando se les agregaba ese. De ahí nada más. Lo de hoy sí lo entendí. Es más, fácil, es más fácil la negativa que la positiva. Sí, <risa> sí, 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 sí. Pero en la negativa, el verbo siempre va en forma como el normal. En la negativa, sí. El verbo va siempre en forma normal porque como utilizamos el das, entonces no le hacemos ningún cambio al verbo. ¿Me escuchó? Sí. No, ahora sí. Ah, ok. No, le decía de que no le, no, en la negativa, no le hacemos ningún cambio al verbo porque como llevamos el auxiliar, entonces el verbo se queda así, tal cual. Ah, ok, ok. En la positiva, ¿Cómo? ahí sí. Ahí, ahí sí. sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Porque no usamos auxiliar, sino que en la tercera persona, he, she, and it, utilizamos la regla de la S. Ajá, ajá. Sí, lo que me explicó ayer, ¿verdad? Exacto, sí. Ok. Ah, pues solo eso. Segura. Sí, segura. Seguro. Mañana le voy a acordar de los verbos hoy. Sí, me acuerda uh, alrededor de las diez y media, once, y eso lo puse. Vaya, okay, ya voy perfect. a poner alarma para que no se me olvide. <risa> perfect, thank you so much, then, Daniela, have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you, bye. bye. bye.